Today we're going to try not to burn my little shop down because we're going to be throwing sparks with three different gouging techniques. I've got a piece of 3 8 plate, not super thick, but we have it welded all the way out and we slam the gap shut to where there is plenty of sound material in there and the back side has this long line of incomplete fusion. We're going to use our three methods of gouging today, which is going to be first our angle grinder. Give us some more room for a weld. I think I'd say I'm happy with that. We probably removed at least a quarter of an inch of depth, which I remember putting a pretty heavy land on there. Maybe not quite that heavy, but we got past that line all the way across and that's what you're trying to do now i'll say that grinding is probably your cheapest version of metal gouging that you can come by you just need your grinder and a good abrasive and you're off to the races now with plasma gouging you're going to need obviously your plasma cutter just kind of trying to work it back and forth we're gouging by that whole thickness that we were grinding at We got it pretty much right where we need to. We'll probably just grind the rest. And at the end of the day, I'm still looking for that line running through there. It looks like I got it. Now, carbon arc gouging, like plasma cutting, you're able to cut or gouge any metal you want. So if you had the question not whether you could do carbon steel or stainless steels or whatever, you can. You can gouge anything with carbon arc gouging. Just trying to delete that line right there. 300 amps, it's not likely y'all are gonna be able to hear me talk about anything as I'm doing it. So let's just hear some of the wonderful ASMR that is carbon arc gouging. I got a little bit more carried away than I intended. I only meant to do half of this because I still want to show you guys a little something else. We're, we're running 300 amps. So you're going to want a darker shade in here, maybe like a shade 11 or 12. Whereas here we're like shade three, like a shade eight, like a shade 11. What I love about this is I can make one clean sweep with this, the depth that I needed at 300 amps and it just takes care of pretty much that entire line gets just deleted. 